Bart's Coyote Man here. Y'all know what time it is? Look here at the watch and see. It says here, it's time to do some loading with some trail balls. Trail balls. Let's see here. Right there. Y'all see that? Fur powder of Sheriff's Nout Laws. <laughs> I don't know much about outlawing. I do know something about lawing. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get to loading some trail balls. I think I might surprise you on what I'm going to be using too. Using it for, I should say. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Well, here we are, guys. I'm going to show you what, uh, what I'm fixing to load here. <laughs> We're going to be loading some 308. With Trail Boss. Get my scale on. And for now, I'm only going to go with one charge for now. Crap. <laughs> Trying to watch that through the camera and I bumped the... Silly thing. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go with 14 grains trail boss and uh, the bullet I'm going to be loading I've got it's the same style bullet this is uh, Mike Train give me these bullets Sent me these bullets to try. These are unsized, which brings up another point. What are they in diameter? These are a Lyman 3118 mold. And uh, let's see. Oh, they're a little bit bigger than I thought they were. Okay. Yeah, they're about the same. Okay. Well, I might end up having to size these anyway. I didn't realize they was that big. He told me to try them unsized, but I don't know. I might have to size these. But anyway, these are... Uh, Lyman number two alloy and these are Lima type alright yeah these are a little big I'm, I'm going to size them down All right, well, I'm not ready to do any loading then. Okay, but the ones in uh, alloy number two 
weigh 120 grains, and the ones in the lamel type weigh 115. Yeah. All right. I'm going to size some bullets and I'll be... All right, guys, I'm going to be using my NOE. Sorry about bumping the camera. It's pretty tight around here. I'm going to change this bushing, though, because it's a uh, 452. There's a set screw. There's a set screw... Then I'm going to have to unscrew and pull that bushing out. It's the 309 bushing. You just take the 309 bushing and put it into the die body. And tighten down. <sighs> Your little set screw. Now, to put this in the press, it don't go from the top. It goes from the bottom. Get that shell holder out of there. Give me a little more room. I'm not going to pull that up and tighten it because this bottom part has not been squared off on this press. Now your little kit here, your die body kit, comes with three different sized hole tubes whatever I'm going to use the medium one this and it also has a set screw you want to tighten it There we go. Now, uh, since I got a Lee die. That size is supposed to be 308, but it actually does 307. Yeah. Y'all refer back to Uncle Jim's video about this. <laughs> you understand. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the little ram, I guess you call it. Because I didn't order any from NOE because I already had some in my Lee kits. And I have plenty of Lee kits. 
So. Got me a little piece of paper rolled up in there so they don't fall down on each other. And now we're going to do some sizing. See how that moved out and centered it? Alright, well, I'm not going to sit here and let you watch all that. That's just too much. Alright, guys. Got them bullet sized. I'm going to put my powder so I don't dump it. I'm hoping I've got enough light. Ouch. That you can see. See, it comes right up to the shoulder. That powder charge does. Take our little bullet. We've already flared our mouth. I'll set my bullet here. All right, let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. I've already set my die. Uh, you guys. Should know how to seat your bullets by now, I hope. Or even with me sizing that down to a 309, still pretty hard to push in there. And then uh, it is giving it a little bit of crimp. Set you back over here. Much light. There we go. See that or not? See, it's got a little bit of a cramp on it. And I want to show you that I am crimping it and seating it at the same time. But look at that crimp do groove. See how deep it is? I am not hitting anything. And I'm crimping it. Well, the camera sure shows off the dirt in your nails, don't it? <laughs> oh, well. So there you go, guys. That's what I'm doing. 14 grains. And I will be loading uh, some. These are 120. With the number two alloy and 115 grain with the lima type. And I will be uh, loading some 150s. A Lee, a flat nose, and some 170 Lee flat nose. And... Uh, 
Hopefully I can get to the range. Maybe Sunday. I got to work this Saturday. So maybe I can get to the range Sunday and get these tested. Thanks, guys, for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. That don't sound right, does it? Well, here we are. Oh, here.